Now, sometimes you may find that your project has become a little bit more complicated than you originally envisaged, and you might find that iMovies are perhaps a little bit too limited. You can choose to sort of upgrade, if you like, your project to Final Cut Pro, but it does have a few limitations, which we'll talk about in a moment. So you should click the Share menu, and you use Export Final Cut XML. So we'll give it a name, and you can see that it's being saved in the personal folder I've set up inside the user projects folder. Now down here you'll see that there are some notes about the exported XML uh, ML file, and it gives you a few limitations. So you can see things like any transitions you've made which aren't cross dissolves will be lost any titles, voiceover, basically no audio will come across um, any cropping effects you've done as well will not be exported into Final Cut Pro so there are quite a few things to be aware of when you do use this option so that's saving it now so we'll open up Final Cut Pro Okay, so Final Cut Pro is now opened, and we need to select the File, Import, XML menu. So I'll navigate to my personal project folder. Select the XML file I've just exported from iMovie. This is just going to tell us where it's going to live in iMovie, sorry, live in Final Cut Pro. This destination's fine, you can leave it as Untitled Project 1 and press OK. So you can see our projects loaded into the browser up here. And when you double click on it, it will open in the timeline. You can see it, it needs rendering, that's what this red bar means. It's brought across the video and the audio which was attached to the video clip but all of my transitions have gone and it's also removed the titles which I've made